Welcome, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Cameron Delano, Strategic Architect with F5, and this is part three in a four-part series of videos showcasing the distributed cloud web app and API protection setup and demo guide. The guide will help you set up a sample application and provide you the tools to explore the web app and API protection capabilities of the F5 distributed cloud platform. Here in part three, we'll see how easy it is to add effective protection to your API resources using F5's distributed cloud to enhance your application security strategy. We'll be building on the deployment demonstrated in part one of the series, so if you didn't get a chance to check it out yet, I highly suggest taking a look at it now. Let's go ahead and get started. We start once again at our demo repo. This time we'll be heading to the API protection section. Everything we will be doing in the video is documented here in this section. To start with, right-click on the link for the test tool and open it in a new browser tab. We'll continue to use this tool for testing our security. Head back to the Load Balancer Management section of the console and go ahead and click the copy icon next to our C name and paste it into the tool. Now let's go ahead and send our attacks. As you can see, we currently have no API protection configured and we're vulnerable. Let's see what we can do about that. First, let's upload the Swagger file we've provided with the repo. Go back to the F5 distributed cloud console, select Swagger files, and then click add Swagger file. In the form, give the file a name and click upload file. Navigate to the directory you've cloned the repo to, select swagger.json, and click Upload. Then click Save and Exit. Once the file successfully uploads, you'll see a notification in the right lower portion of the page. Next, we need to create our API definition. Navigate to API Definition and then click the Add API Definition button. In the form, enter a name in the Metadata section. Then in the Swagger Specs section, Click on the Enter Swagger Specs field and select the Swagger spec we added in the previous step. Then click Save and Exit to create the API definition object. Now we need to attach the created API definition to our HTTP load balancer. Navigate to Load Balancers and select HTTP Load Balancers. Click the three dots under Actions and select Manage Configuration. Once the detail page for our star ratings load balancer pops up, click Edit Configuration in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Now scroll down and find the Security Configuration section and toggle Show Advanced Fields. Next, continue down to the API Definition section and select Enable. Then click into the Select API Definition field and choose the definition we created previously. Now we need to create a new service policy with a set of custom rules that will specify either an allow or deny rule action for specified API resources contained in our Swagger file. This approach uses the combination of service policies and custom rules to fine-tune and provide granular control over how our application API resources are protected. Scroll up to the Service Policies section, select Apply Specified Service Policies, then click Configure. Under Policies, click on the Select Items field and select Add Item. In the form, enter a name for the policy in the Metadata section and then scroll down to the Rules section. Next, under Custom Rule List, click Configure. Here's where we'll add our rules. Click Add Item to begin. The first rule we'll create will be a Deny All Except API. In the form, enter a name in the Metadata section and then click View Configuration in the Rule Specification section. Next, we need to configure our path. Click Configure in the HTTP Path section and then select Add Item under Prefix Values and fill in our path. For this demo, it's slash API slash V1. Then click Apply. Now scroll down to the Advanced Match section and click Configure for the API Group Matcher field. In the API Group Matcher screen, select the All Operations option in the Exact Values list, then tick the Invert String Matcher option box and click Apply. Click Apply again to add the rule specification 
and once more on the next page to add the rule to our custom list. Next, we need to add our allow other rule. Back at our custom rules list, select add item to begin adding the new rule. Once again, in the form, enter a name in the metadata section and then click view configuration in the rule specification section. In the action field, choose allow and then select apply at the bottom of the page to add the rule specification. On the next page, click apply once again to add the rule. Once back at our custom rules list, select apply to add the list to our service policy. Now click continue on the next page, then one final apply to add the service policy to the load balancer. The last step is to look over the configuration and save the edited HTTP load balancer. Once you click save and exit at the end, the load balancer will update with the API security settings and our API resources will be protected. Now let's head back to our test tool and run the attack set again. We should now see our attacks fail and have verification that our API resources are protected. We've now come to the end of part three of the F5 Distributed Cloud Web App and API Protection Demo Guide Showcase. Protecting your critical API resources is essential to an effective security posture. With F5 Distributed Cloud, we aim to make that process as quick and easy as possible. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you'll join me for part four of this series, where we will continue configuring our web app and API protection use cases by diving into the bot and DDoS protection capabilities of the platform. Take care, and hope to see you later.